Hello everyone, it's Jen. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and my craft table. So today's video is the fifth installment of our Teacher Appreciation Week gift series. I'm going to show you how to make custom teacher mugs using the Cricut infusible mugs and infusible ink transfer sheets. Now I know what you're thinking, don't teachers have a lot of mugs? Well, as a teacher myself, I can tell you that yes, we sure do. And they can be used not only just for holding our favorite cup of coffee, but also to hold a variety of teacher things that we have on our desk and all over our classroom. So these particular mugs are actually going to be customized specifically for each teacher. And then as an added surprise, we're going to go ahead and include a Starbucks gift card in the cup for each teacher. Okay, let's go ahead and talk supplies. Now, of course, you're going to need the mugs. I'll be using 12 ounce mugs. Now, normally these come in a pack of two. However, since I needed so many and I only have one left in this box, I purchased a six pack. Now, this six pack came from Hobby Lobby and it was about $16, but that makes it so economical. Basically, I paid about $2.80 per mug instead of the usual approximate $4 per mug. And by the way, in case you weren't aware, these mugs do come in a 15 ounce option. The 15 ounce mugs are also sold in a two pack. And what I like about this option is that inside this box, each mug is individually packaged inside its own box, making it easy for gift giving. Today, I'll be using the 12 ounce mugs, and I definitely won't be using the 15 ounce mugs for this project. Now, as far as the rest of the supplies that you're going to need, you'll need a brayer, tweezers, scissors, and then a lint roller or a lint free cloth. And I can never decide which one I like best when doing a mug project, so I usually keep both of them handy. You're also going to need some heat resistant tape and, of course, your infusible ink sheets. I've pulled a variety of infusible ink options from my craft stash. Now, for some of these colors, I already have a definitive plan, and for others, I'm really not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I just know that I'm going to have to decide which one to use based on the design of the mug and which one I think will work best. So let's go ahead and head over to Design Space and I'll show you the designs I created and then we'll make some final decisions on Infusible Ink. Now I'm in Design Space. The first thing that I did was click on this little light bulb. Now this is to help me search through the design library. And then in the search bar, I just typed mug design setup. Now sometimes it's really hard to find the setups. So if you click on this little drop down menu here on the right and select Cricut only, you'll get the designs created by the Cricut design team. Now what you're wanting to look for are the mug design setups and there are several options. The first option shows snowflakes, stars, a Nordic sweater design, and I think these look like jelly beans or confetti. I'm not real sure, but that's option number one. The second option is the borders that have like a little lotus uh, succulent kind of flower down here. We have some kind of curly cute design. Then we of course have butterflies and hearts. Now the main mug setup is these and we've got zigzag and straight and uh, let's see, it looks like scallop and ripped. I like the ripped edge. I use that quite a bit actually. Next, we have a sports theme border. So we have baseball and golf and uh, playbook and stars. And then finally, we have some borders made of flowers to choose from. So what I did is I chose a variety of these designs and placed them all onto one canvas before customizing. Now, to be honest, this process did take quite a bit of time 
mainly because I have such a hard time making up my mind on not only layout, but design, color, etc. So in here, um, I'm going to have my overhead camera here off to the side, and that way I can just kind of pull up the infusible ink sheets and decide really which one is best for which design. Okay, so for the black infusible ink, I'll be using that with the playbook design, and this is for our athletic coach. I used the varsity font and an offset to create the B and a white border. And basically I set that into the design and sliced out the space and then slid the B into that position. Now the design with the P, this is for a math teacher. And I designed this after a geometric mug that I had created for myself with a dodecagram design all the way across. But what I did for this one is I just used half of a dodecagram design, sliced it off, and then put it next to the initial. And I think that looks really fun. And this is going to be for the geometric infusible ink sheets. Y'all, this is the most amazing pattern ever. And it comes out so beautiful once it is pressed. It really is probably my favorite. Okay, now we have two teachers that absolutely love purple. So I'm going to be using lilac for this Z mandala design. And this one is for our English teacher. Okay, so next we have the design for our Bible teacher. And she really just fills us with such hope and inspiration. So I chose a really the sweet butterfly border design. And then I actually found a monogram M with a butterfly design that I uploaded into Design Space and I found that on Creative Fabrica. All right, let me move this over here. Okay, so next we have our art teacher. Now this design just says art to me um, and I think that I need to decide on the infusible ink for this one and I'm having a tough time. Um, I'm definitely not going to be using the mermaid pattern on here, but I really like the sheet along the bottom that kind of has a variety of colors that like an ombre, uh, an ombre feel to it. And then I have this other infusible ink sheet that I could use and it fades from uh, pink, orange, blue, purple, green, yellow. I mean, it's just like this rainbow fade. And I actually think I'm leaning toward that for the design. So I think I'm definitely going to be using that one. Okay, so for the science teacher, now this design was so fun. I found the word science with a little atomic element for the I. And then this teacher, and it's the play on the periodic table. And I just thought that was really cool. So I basically welded those together, and then I chose a double circular outline to encapsulate the initial. And I'm just going to use the blue um, ink sheet. It's a really nice blue, and it'll actually match the coaster that we have made for her previously. Okay, and finally, our Art Deco design. Now, y'all, this is so cool. This is for our history teacher, and I'm super excited about this design because it will be something new for me. The person who created this for Design Space had a pink um, portion along the top where my yellow is, and then a different letter, of course, but that was also pink, and I just thought it was so striking. So I chose to use that same design, and um, this will require me to piece together the black infusible ink with different colors. And I'm gonna have to press it all at one time. So this will allow me to show you that I can like, I was thinking maybe using this cheetah rainbow instead of that yellow piece on the design space canvas, but the cheetah rainbow and then red for the initial. And I'll have to piece those in to the transfer sheet that has the black half along the bottom. So I think these three will work for the couple that I hadn't really picked yet. 
Okay, so let's see what we're going to do now. Um, let's move some of these out of the way. I do need to just double check that these are all attached so that when we are in design space, everything is going to cut out all at one time as one piece. So I'll just look through each of these really fast and make sure that they do say attached down in the bottom of my layers panel. Now the Art Deco one, I am, I'm only going to attach the liner and the black portion, but the yellow um, top part and the initial, those will be detached because I'm going to be using two different colors of transfer sheet. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and make sure the rest of these are attached. And it's really important that you select all and then go up to align and align center before attaching them down in the bottom of the layers panel, like I had to do for this one that was the Z. Okay, we'll move that out of the way. Looks like this one is attached and so is this one. Okay, so I'm actually going to double check that I have made sure that the L and the yellow top piece are detached from that entire group. Now it will stay grouped together, at least for the canvas part, but when we go to the make screen, that those two yellow pieces will be their own thing, which will allow me to be able to cut out those items from different infusible ink sheets. Next, I'm just going to go to the top here. I'm going to be using my Maker 3, but you can really choose any of your Cricut machines, whichever one that you have. And now I'm going to go ahead and click Make. Okay, so we can see that the geometric design is at the top. And now remember that will be in color, um, that beautiful color. The Art Deco in black. Now I think this needs to go, we're going to put this on mat two. And when I move that, clicking the three little dots, selecting the new mat and moving it, I'm going to just move it up here closer to the playbook. And I do need to make sure that I mirror every design in this make screen. So I'm going to go back and mirror the mat number one. Okay, so this yellow mat right here, um, I'm actually going to be moving these. I'm going to select both of them, hit the three little dots, hit move object, and I'm going to go ahead and just put them on mat one. I've got plenty of space, and instead of cutting out five mats, it might be a whole lot nicer to cut out four. So I'm just going to move both of those elements toward the bottom, and that way I have plenty of space for each of the three different colors that I'll be using. So we've got the geometric, we'll have the red letter in the middle, and then we'll have the cheetah rainbow here at the bottom. Okay, that yellow will get deleted when we go to cut. Okay, now as far as the blue mat, now the rainbow, the blue at the top is going to be for the science teacher, but the rainbow will be for the art teacher at the bottom. And then you can see for both of them that are going to be using the lilac, they're good to go. I do need to make sure that I mirror the blue mat. Um, let me double check these others as well. That is something that is so important is to mirror those designs, just like when you're using HTV. Looks like I got them all. Okay, now that I've got everything ready, I'm gonna go ahead and go prepare the mats off camera so that we can get the designs cut and pressed onto the mugs. All right. These are all ready to go. Let me show you what we've done here. And I've actually already made some adjustments. So on this purple one, I have the um, C mandala. It's going to be here at the top. And then I have the butterfly design next. And then I have plenty of room. So what I did is I actually went ahead and moved the Art Deco design here to the bottom. So we've got the cheetah rainbow and then the red letter. Then next, we have the um, science blue here at the top. And that actually comes out really, really smooth and very pretty. Um, that'll actually match the coaster we made. And then we have the one for the art teacher. This will be for that lotus mandala and the initial in the middle. Next, we have the mat with black. So we're going to have the playbook at the top and then the bottom half of that Art Deco 
here at the bottom to go with our cheetah rainbow. And last but never least, my absolute favorite. I just love this geometric print. But this is where we will have the design for the math teacher. And the last time I used it, when I made this full design of the dodecagram, um, when I pulled it off, it was in such good shape that I actually just infused it onto this canvas bag, which holds all of my infusible ink markers. So I just wanted like a little special place for them to go. And this is a great way to stretch your, um, your supplies. So if you can ever do that, I highly recommend it. Okay, so now I'm gonna go and get these cut out so that we can get them pressed and onto our mugs. Okay, everything is cut out. Now, although I'm gonna weed all of these out and wrap the mugs off camera, I think what I'm gonna do is show you the art deco design on camera so that you can see how things get placed together. So we have our playbook. Next, we have the one for our science teacher. We have the one for our art teacher. We have the um, Z mandala. We have the butterfly one. And of course, my favorite, Man, I just really absolutely love this. Okay, so let's move this out of the way and I'm going to show you how to do the Art Deco. Now, basically, we are we're going to weed out um, all of the things on the black and then we'll be placing the cheetah rainbow strip and the letter. Now, I know the black looks really brown and purplish, but if you notice here with this mug, it turns out so dark and vibrant once you press it. So the black really comes out really, really nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and start cracking. Yes, I did say cracking. We're going to be cracking the sheet and that way we can weed our design and pull things up that need to come off. And for this particular piece, I will be just removing this piece and I will be placing that onto the black here at the top. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and weed out the letter and then the rest of the elements of the black. Okay, now that we have all of the things weeded out from the black design, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take the L and I'm going to pull it off of its sheet and I'm literally just going to slip it right into this space right here where we sliced out the original. And there we go. I'm going to brayer that down, make sure it's nice and adhered onto the transfer sheet. Okay, I think that looks, yeah, that looks really good. Yep, that's really gonna be gorgeous. Okay, now I'm gonna take the cheetah strip and once I pull that off of its carrier sheet, then I'm simply going to take it and I'm gonna place it, um, Actually, let me, I think I'm going to turn this around. I'm going to re, I'm going to place the cheetah strip right next to the black strips. And I'm going to be making sure that I line up the ends on both ends and the start and stop of the circle portion. And then I'm going to brayer that down as well. So now I basically have one cohesive design that can be pressed all at one time but I have a variety of infusible ink colors. All right, now it's time to wipe down our mug. Now I find it easiest to put my hand inside the mug. So I'm gonna just wipe this down and then I'm gonna go over it with my lint roller. 
and we're going to make sure that we have no lint and dust, debris, or anything that could prevent a really nice, beautiful transfer. Okay, now with the mug handle facing me, I'm going to take the transfer sheet. I'm going to line it up in the middle as best I can, and then I'm going to start wrapping this around the mug. I do want to get a really nice tight seal, but I also want to make sure that the top and bottom of the design matches the top and bottom perimeters of the mug and that it's fairly centered as well. And then this is really most important. You don't want any gaps along the top or bottom of your mug. So to prevent that, I'm going to go around the perimeter along the top with some heat resistant tape. And once I get that on there, then I'm just gonna make a few little snips with my scissors to help with being able to put it down. I don't always do that, just sometimes I do. And then I'm just gonna start working my way around the mug and then closing the gap by pushing the tape into the mug and making sure it's adhered nicely. Next, I'll do the same thing along the bottom perimeter of the mug. And we're just gonna go around. And this will actually help make sure I have a nice tight seal all the way around, top and bottom. All right, there we go. Okay, so I always place my mug press on the easy press mat while using it. And now that my press is heated, I'm going to be carefully sliding the mug down into the press and making sure that when I do that, I place it so that that deep blue press element color actually covers my entire design. Now the handle will stay cool throughout the process. I'm going to close the handle here and it's going to start immediately. Now when it's done, these lights will all be lit up and then it will beep at us, letting us know that it's finished. Okay, so it just beeps at us. We know that it's done. And we're going to carefully lift the handle. This will release the mug from the mug press. And I'm going to go ahead and just gently slide this up. Now remember, this handle is very cool to the touch, so I won't be burning myself. But the mug itself is very hot, so I do not want to touch it for about 15 to 20 minutes. So in the meantime, I have another mug ready to go. And I'm going to slide that down into the mug press. And then I'll continue to work on the other mugs, getting them weeded and prepped for the press. Oh, one more thing. Don't forget to have a window open and or a fan going to help you avoid any and all fumes during the heating process. Okay, so now I'm taking the last mug out of the press. This has definitely been a process. And I have three here. These are the latest that are cooling. I am going to go ahead um, and be careful because I can feel the heat coming off of this mug right here. So all seven mugs are complete and ready to be unwrapped and revealed part. But before I do that, I would like to just remind you that if you have not already seen them, we have previous videos made for this series. and um, We'll also be linking the supplies down in the description of this video. But our first video we made this week were tree boxes. Now these were made with craft board, which I absolutely love. And then we've just put a sweet design and a monogram on the back. Next, we had a video showing these sweet acrylic keychains with adhesive vinyl and coordinating tassels. And then on the third video, we made teacher notepads that are custom designed 
and it has glue along the top so that they can just be torn off and craft board on the back for a sturdy and professional appearance. Now video number four, almost one of my favorites, are these uh, infusible ink ceramic coasters. And these came out so well. And then we used more craft board to create these little um, gift boxes. So we have color card stuck in the bottom to coordinate and then an acetate window to show the coaster through the box lid. I think those are so fun. Looks really great. Okay, so I guess time now to start revealing the mug design. So I'm just going to go around the top and the bottom perimeter, taking off all of the tape and then removing the paper and praying that my designs came out perfect. <gasps> that is the best. I love the geometric. And then Oh my goodness, this mandala looks great. Okay, the science teacher. Oh, that is so cute. I might have to make one for my brother. Next, our playbook. That looks really vibrant. Oh my goodness, the art deco. Y'all, this looks so wonderful. Okay, so our butterfly cup coming out, and then finally our Z mandala. Okay, so all seven mugs are revealed. So let's go over what we've done today. We have a purple mug for our English teacher with her Z initial and a sweet mandala behind it. Looks really smart. We have my favorite, the geometric design. With the initial, this is for our math teacher. And I just love mine. I'm so excited that came out well. We have the playbook for the coach. That looks really awesome. So glad it came out. The art teacher, look at this one, guys. This is beautiful. I love the rainbow fade. I think that's just perfect for an art teacher. Next is the art deco. And I am so impressed with this. I think I'm going to have to make this design for lots of gifts in the future. But wow, I can't believe I actually pieced together three different types of infusible ink. I am so glad and so thankful that this came out. This is for our history teacher. I just know she's going to love it. Then for our Bible teacher, the sweet butterflies and her initial with a butterfly on the monogram. And finally, the science teacher mug. This just cracks me up. I think it is so clever and I just love it. All right. These came out so good. Well, I hope that this video was informative and inspiring to you to make some wonderful gifts for the teachers in your life. Um, just thought of a really cool bonus video that we'll probably come out with that we customize some gift bags and um, that way when we take them to school they're in customized gift bags and teacher cards also. But in the meantime, um, fill your mug with the best cup of coffee you can, maybe some tea if that's your jam, but have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching and happy crafting. Thank you all so much for watching today. I'm so glad that you can join me at my craft table. If you're not already, I'd love to have you as a subscriber and don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you'll know when new videos arrive. Have a great day and as always, happy crafting.